yeah we have a board here that came from another computer shop and the the, the, the person is telling me that the board is not coming on we'll go under the microscope and try to look how we can come about this problem so let's see okay you know what we co when you connect this board to the to the power supply check up there on the top left you're going to see that the board is doing three amperes and the cc is on that is a short circuit on the motherboard do that and this chip is getting hot here 7401 ga 2417 Maybe uh, let me adjust my power supply to get a little bit of voltage so that you cannot damage the, cannot burn out the chip, which may also extend the damage to the motherboard itself. And let me also now connect the charger and see how this one is melting the flux very high speed. Yeah, this is a very quick melting up and that means the chip is getting hot. This is, the chip is getting very hot. And so because of that, we are going to get rid of this chip and see whether the short is going to go away. So I grab my hot air. And before that, let me try to check for the short using a multimeter. So I'm getting a reading on this side. Also a reading on this side, it has C5591. And our multimeter is talking about 591, but on the other side, I'm not getting is that a short circuit I saw there. Or I saw the multimeter is playing a red light there, and that would mean that the, there's a short circuit. So, uh, without much, yeah, we're getting sometimes you're getting a value, sometimes you're not getting a value, and so we're just going to. Like 590, Okay, the thing is, it's not stable. It's not very stable. So let's just not waste much of our time and get rid of this chip. Yeah, this is a this is a type of a transistor by the name MOSFET. But in most cases, I'm used to ceramic capacitors getting, having to be the one bringing the shot to the motherboard or having to be the one responsible for the shot on the motherboard. So um, I really doubt this is the chip that is responsible for the short circuit on this motherboard. But anyway, it's only after we remove the chip, we can be able to tell this. So chip base. Chip is a bit tough, it's not coming out quickly. So let me, yeah, the chip is out. I'll try to put some fresh solder on the pads, on the power lines, uh, so that we can, we may not end up with a, dry joint in future yeah it's always good to wipe off the old solder and apply a new one but it's not always possible in real life in reality let's do some cleanup Yeah, so I, I, I'm guessing we are having a ceramic capacitor being the one responsible for the short circuit, but uh, let me test. You see, now we have a short. Check the multimeter up there on the left. On the top left, we're still having a short circuit on this motherboard, like I told you before. I don't think that chip was responsible for the short circuit because we could not read a short mm -hmm. on that chip when we took measurements we're using a multimeter, but on this case here, you can see we are reading a short circuit and you see this is a 19 volt power rail i can tell from the from the chips that i can see here and also the size of the power line the power line is a bit big it's a bit wide and 
this is a 19 volts power line. So let me come with a voltage injecting wire here, try to inject some voltage and see. And see if uh, I'm going to get what is going to see whether I'll, I'll get to feel what is getting hot in this case. Yeah, that is our voltage injecting wire. Always make sure it's red in color so that you may not confuse and solder an, a, a negative one. And as you can check up there on the power supply, it's just taking three amps. And guess what? Something is getting very hot here. You can see there something, uh, three amps is not, it's not okay. Yeah, 7410 BA, that one is, MOSFET or that ceramic capacitor, one of them could be responsible for this short circuit, but I think I know it's the capacitor. I think I'm aware this should be the okay, but as okay, what is taking the it is taking all that heat because you can see the okay. I will start with the ceramic capacitor and then see whether that short is going to go out. Um, use some hot air. Yeah, most of the time you'll get the ceramic capacitors being the one to 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 bring the short effect on any motherboard, but we also have the chips and also the Okay, so I'll come with a multimeter and try to see whether we're still having a shot. I try to take some measurements. Yeah, probably maybe it's not the ceramic capacitor as we we would like to think. Yeah, and I can I can see this the, the ceramic capacitor is not the one because we are still having the shot. So we'll we'll get it back and maybe try to come to come up with the MOSFET. Try to remove the MOSFET and see whether this is going to change. Okay, taking back the more the ceramic capacitor. Yeah, the capacitor is back. Yeah, now let's grab the. Oh, it's running away. Yeah, 7410BA23FA. You need to know the schematics for this MOSFET. You just Google that on the Google, the data sheet. And you get all the characteristics of that chip. And I see the shot is done. Using the multimeter, I'm not getting a short reading on my multimeter. I'm not having a red light or a beep. And so I'm going to just replace that MOSFET. Yeah, you be careful to make sure that the MOSFET is, is standing in the right manner or is sitting on its place the way it's supposed to. Yeah, like now it's very nice. It's sitting just right to its place. We do a little bit of cooling down. So that we can test and see whether the machine is okay now. Yeah, so I think we're just going to 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 check out this. We have replaced the MOSFET with a 33 okay. B and A1. And are we still having a short circuit? So remember, we have to take back the MOSFET we had taken we, we had taken out earlier because it was not the one that was responsible for the shot for the power to have the continuity because the power cannot flow from the charger to the other side of the board if we have not returned the MOSFET we plucked off earlier.
oh, this is not sitting on its place. Oh, at last, I think things are okay now. So we're just going to test this motherboard and I think the shot is gone. We have found out that the MOSFET was the one that was responsible for that shot and go back to 19 volts and let's now test the motherboard. Yeah, check the power supply up there. It's taking 1.672 amps and that motherboard, and it's not a short circuit because the 19 volts is not dropping. It's not a voltage drop. See the lights on the motherboard are now on. And you can see the power supply is taking a good ampere. Yeah, that's all guys. That's all. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.